Oh, what's up guys, Sherry here. So, have you guys ever wanted to get an Osu keypad at some point? I know you guys did. We went online and checked for the price and turns out maybe it's just too expensive or it's just unavailable in your country. God damn, even VPN can save you. So, today in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make one for under $5. You heard that right, $5 or maybe even less, maybe 4 maybe 3 depending on what you use. Yeah, so I, I guess the, the cheapest you can make is for $3, 3 USD, which is super, super cheap for a keypad. Like, come on, it's, it's a keypad, make sure you watch the end of it. And I'll teach you guys how to make one. And if you're still doubting me, yes, it is as good as a commercial one, all right? so. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So what we're gonna need for this is a mouse. I recommend using a wireless one as it makes things simpler. And it's wireless, so why not? And it doesn't matter if it's cheap, it doesn't affect it that much. The second thing you're gonna need is your switches. The ones I'm using here are Gator One Reds. You can use whatever you like. Some wires. And a breadboard or some sort of board for you to solder your switch onto a soldering iron and a hot glue gun which is optional but it'll be best if you have one. Oh, don't forget about the solder so the first step of this process is to tear out your mouse it's very simple you just need a screwdriver for this next locate the buttons of the mouse this is where we need to make the changes to you need to desolder the pins of the buttons should be two in most cases I decided to solder wires to the holes where the buttons originally is to make soldering easier and to make sure I don't damage anything. Oh look, the pins of our switches is not long enough. What do we do? Well, it's very simple. We just need to make the pins longer. Just like how some people get thick enlargement. I do this by attaching a long wire to the switches and cutting it off once it's soldered onto it. Now, we can attach the switch to the breadboard we're using. Do this for the other switch as well. After that, connect everything together and lastly, wiring right now we got all of them wired up if it works it works if it doesn't work then you fucked up all right hopefully it works right all right so now what you want to do is to grab this usb dongle or some shit just stick it into your computer and if i click now it should pop up oh Oh, it works, it works, fuck yes. Okay, so what we're gonna be really careful about right now is the switches. It's not really stable as you can see right here. See, it's not leveled, so every time you press it down, it kind of leans to some, some direction. What I did was to... time because I lost the footage of it so here's a sound test of the keypad 